हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट मालीमाथ कमेटी एंड वी विल सी व्हाई द रिलेवेंस ऑफ द मालीमाथ कमेटी हैज बीन अराइजिंग सी व्हाट आर द रीजंस ऑफ आवर डिस्कशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज यू नो दैट गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड टू रिविजिट द जस्टिस मालीमाथ कमेटी रिपोर्ट फॉर जुडिशियल और पुलिस रिफॉर्म दैट्स व्हाई द रिलेवेंस ऑफ द जस्टिस Malimath committee has been arising and the next thing which will which we will see in our video is how the committee report is going to help in our examination let's see what is the background of background of justice malimath committee report the full name of the committee is the committee of reform on criminal justice system or in short the justice malimath committee this committee is constituted by home ministry in 2003 and at the at that time lk advani was heading the home portfolio so in other way we can say lk advani constituted the justice malimath committee and who is justice justice malimath so justice malimath Uh, was the chief justice formal chief justice of karnataka and kerala high court this is the background of justice malimath committee uh, this is the important the constitution part and who constituted because uh, if you have given prelims uh, uh, earlier then you might have seen that the question are being asked something like that who have who has started uh, this plan or this scheme and uh, there is a wrong name is given in sentence form then we have to identify identify what is the right name so in this way uh, if they are going to twist the uh, sentence then instead of lk advani they could use some other name that this guy has constituted justice malimath committee so we should be careful about this okay let's see the recommendation of justice malimath committee as there there are uh, one, uh, 158 recommendation we are not going to discuss all the recommendation uh, we will discuss only important recommendations and uh, how they are relevant in current uh, scenario and are they uh, ap applicable or not that we will see first recommendation is that there should be need there should be change from adversarial system to to inquisitorial system now let us understand what is uh, meaning of advers adversarial system and what is the meaning of inquisitorial system let's see first adversarial system uh, currently what happens when there is any investigation is going on of any crime then uh, the whole responsibility of investigation is upon police and after uh, finding out or investigating the case they file the charge sheet and Uh, they submit the charge sheet before a neutral judge then what happens judge re uh, read reads the report and from that report he finds out that uh, accused is victim or not it means that there is no involvement of judge uh, during investigation in adversarial system but inquisitorial system is opposite to that in which the main objective is quest for truth and in this objective a judge can also participate during investigation so here we can say that a judge is not neutral and he supervise the investigation this is the different difference between adversarial and inquisitorial system then uh, is this the new system inquisitorial system then it is not this is followed in germany france and some other european countries this is the first important recommendation of justice malimath committee which uh, he has recommended in his report that we should follow inquisitorial system of investigation now let us see another recommendation uh, most important recommendation is uh, he has recommended that uh, there should be change in article 23 what the, what is this article this article says that no person can be would forced to be witness of himself of herself okay uh, 
but the committee recommends that there should be change in this article and court can ask any information from the accused and from basis of that information uh, something must be inferred that he has done the crime or not so it means the uh, the committee is recommend recommending change in right to silence or change in fundamental rights so it becomes important because we know uh, amendment in constitution and in uh, particularly in fundamental right is not that much easy for that we have to have special majority and also uh, uh, the bill must be passed by uh, state assemblies also okay uh, next recommendation is uh, currently there is time period given for investigation is 90 days in which uh, police has to uh, complete the investigation and file the charge sheet but committee has recommended that make this time period double it means that uh, give police 180 days time but the question is uh, as i said earlier uh, in the starting of the video that we would also see the relevance of the recommendation in current scenario so in current scenario what is the problem that we are already face, facing the problem of delayed justice so if we will give more days to investigate to police then is it not uh, uh, that uh, the justice will be delayed more so this is the question in which we should uh, see this recommendation okay the next next recommendation is uh, doubling the time period of police remand which is currently 15 days the committee has recommended it to double as 30 days now again the question arises uh, the question of custodial death uh, this is the example which is currently uh, happening in Kerala a man a young man named Srijit is uh, protesting in front of secretariat of Kerala government where he is demanding CBI probe of his brother's death in police custody. So see the problem of custodial death is lingering in front of us and we are uh, or not we justice Malimath committee is recommending that the time period of police remand should be doubled. So is it relevant for current scenario that is also which we have to critically examine. Next recommendation is uh, confession made during police remand should be admissible that is currently if a accused is making any statement or confession uh, when he is in police remand that confession should not uh, be considered as uh, evidence but justice committee justice malimath committee is recommending that do the change in section 25 of evidence act and make this as an evidence where a person or accused is making any statement in front of police this is again a very drastic uh, uh, recommendation because we know that this confession could be uh, by any pressure pressure also okay now let's move on another recommendation that character of an accused should be an evidence that is again very uh, very widespread implication that the recommendation which can have a widespread implication that how could we decide the character of an accused okay this is the question which uh, we should address first then uh, the question of uh, making this recommendation applicable should be taken next recommendation is remove distinction between cognizable and non-cognizable offense then what is cognizable offense it means that arresting without warrant police can go without having a warrant and can arrest of any offense then justice malimath committee is recommending recommending that this uh, difference should be removed so these uh, were the uh, important recommendation of justice malimath committee among 158 recommendation now we will see what is the relevance of the report of this exam first is for prelims my new details as I have said in uh, earlier uh, uh, starting of the video where we have to uh, be careful about who started when started this kind of detail uh, they can ask now uh, the relevance of the topic for mains point of view is that 
see the uh, in syllabus it is mentioned role of civil service in democracy so police uh, is uh, is uh, you know a very, a very part of uh, civil service so th this is directly relevant from our topic second is judicial and police reform both are interconnected because uh, ju judgment is taken on the basis of the investigation of report third one is security in gs3 uh, because uh, internal security is uh, handled by police so the reports recommendation comes under this part also now we can use uh, the name of the justice malimath committee uh, in our essay also where the answer will be more uh, uh, wait, waitful or substantiate some substantiate well and also um, in ethics we can use uh, the recommendation of the committee uh, where we can relate the topic uh, on the question uh, related to law and rights and society and changing nature of law this kind of question where upsc asked that what are the changes changes we are seeing in our youth this kind of uh, questions and uh, examples we can give through the recommendation of justice malimath committee thank you friend i hope you like the video if there is any question or any suggestion you want to share please comment thank you